Hey guys, uh, welcome back to our YouTube channel. And with me here today, I've got Becky and Courtney. <laughs> and for this segment, they have no idea what I'm doing, uh, but they do actually, uh, somewhat. So, uh, per somebody's request, they wanted to see uh, Becky's two-handed backhand. Oh. So what I'm gonna do is actually, we're gonna show you Becky's two-handed backhand, but also, uh, Courtney, what is your favorite shot? My two-handed backhand. So guess what? You get two two-handed backhands. So what we're going to do, we're just gonna show you, uh, and, and again, I'm just gonna talk a little bit about as they hit, uh, just gonna talk about the importance because a lot of people talk, ask us about the two-handed backhand. Uh, and one thing that I'll tell you that is crucial to the success of a two-handed backhand is your left arm. Oftentimes, people try to hit two-handed backhands and they don't use their left arm. So pretty much, you just lost the purpose of having the two arms there. So, so oftentimes, we, we get caught just pulling across with the right where the left is actually doing a lot of the work. So with that, I am gonna watch from the sidelines while they hit back, back into back end. There you go. Up. Nice. Ooh, too much power. Too much, too much. That's ugly. Nice. Nice. So one thing that you're gonna notice with both ladies is that they're, they're extending through that shot. So both of their arms, they're not tied into the body. It's actually full extension throughout the shot. So one more time here. And by doing that, they're able to get more power into that ball. Oh, just and like that one. Just like that, a lot Too of power. power. Oh, sorry. Okay, so again, that is the two-handed backhand ground stroke. So this is a two-handed backhand uh, uh, top spin. Nice, got it. And a big one here also is, so Courtney is moving to create that distance between her and the ball. And then dropping the head of the paddle below the ball and brushing through. And why do you use it, Courtney? More power. Yep. Um, Cause I can generate more with uh, two hands versus just one. So with this left arm, I can really use the biceps of my left arm rather than the triceps of my right, which definitely are not as strong oh, as good. my uh, my guns. Ooh. Sorry. Nice. Got it. Nice. Ah, nice. Too good. So again, why do you use it? And it probably be similar. More power, like Courtney said, but I also find it a lot easier to get topspin on it. Topspin. I struggle with the topspin one-hander. Oh, one -hander. Yeah. So if you see these shots that are getting low, I love that backhand topspin roll here. I love it, but I'm always going to do two hands until I can perfect this. There but for go. right now, I'm doing Practice. two hands. I, I, I'm telling you, it's like I've been working on the one hand because you get more reach. Yeah. So yeah. The, one of the, the cons, the limitation with having two hands is that you don't have as much reach because you have both arms. But again, you have more power and actually more control, but you, your limitation there becomes that you have less reach. Yeah. But until again, if you are effective with it, then that is not enough of a con to get away from doing it, yeah. right? So if it's good, Keep it. Do you want to talk a little bit about maybe trying out non-dominant forehands if you're trying Yeah, so out if it's something that you want to work on to get more power with your forearm, this is uh, Serena Williams here. So what it is is that it helps you get used to using your left arm because most of us, we don't use our non, like, like that's just something that you don't do and then you end up elbowing it. So uh, B Becky, I'll do one here. Exactly, and really like I've had people come in 
and you want me to come here? Yep. And try to do the two-hander and you can tell they're using all their right side. Yep. And at that point their left arm is just in the way. Yep. So it again, it's Two to <laughs> make sure that you're adding control, but also a lot of power comes from that left arm. I like to add my uh, index finger of my left hand up the uh, paddle. Uh, that way I have more control because then it allows me to get more control over the paddle and also be able to direct it a little bit more. Um, also my handle on my paddle is longer. not as long as maybe uh, the other ladies handles are so uh, for me having smaller hands um, but still you know both of them on there I'd rather put my index finger on there so that I have more control also it allows me to be patient and wait for the ball to come to me instead of trying to Reaching. reach so far out for it like they're saying you do get more reach but sometimes that reach is not always a good thing oh absolutely yeah once again thank you so much for watching uh, and just a reminder, by the way, uh, the first time that I've me I met Becky, uh, she made sure to hit me right on the noggin. So <laughs> I always tell people, I say, the first time I met Simone, I had the That's how I said hi. Uh, yeah, I had the honor of getting my butt kicked by her at the US Open 2019. No, no, no. You so had the honor of hitting me right on the head. <laughs> but yes, that was pretty cool too. <laughs> It was one of those sorry, not sorry shots, I will say. <laughs> it was that on bow. It was like, well, hello. Her nice pot, to meet her you. Her paddle wasn't there. Her pot, no. <laughs> it's my fault. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you soon. But you're wearing black, so your watch is hotter. <laughs> that was so great. Please have that on camera. That was so good. So good. Got it.